I'm Erin, and this is The Clothes Erin Sews. My channel is all about sustainable sewing, creative refashioning, and personal style. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a thing from me. Today's video is about being bored with my summer wardrobe. It's been hot for a while now, and I'm kind of getting into a little bit of a rut with wearing the same dresses and the same shorts and t-shirts and tank tops um, with not that much variety. So whenever I start to get bored with my wardrobe, I give myself a little challenge. Um, it gives me something to think about and it makes me use my getting dressed brain in a creative way. So that usually means creating a mini capsule wardrobe for myself for a whole week. And for the week, I challenge myself to only wear the items I've chosen for the capsule and to make different outfits within those items. So since I haven't done a capsule wardrobe since May, and if you missed it, I'll link a playlist up here and down here that includes all the videos I made in May, which focused on a capsule wardrobe for each week of the month of May. The items that I chose, the ways I wore the items, and that sort of thing. So make sure to check that out if you haven't seen it yet. So before I tell you what I chose for my capsule, you may be wondering, why Erin? Why do you do, your, do this to yourself? What is the point of a capsule wardrobe? And so I'll tell you. The capsule wardrobe is great if you are trying to practice minimalism in your life. The idea is you choose a certain number of garments for your closet and everything coordinates together to make countless different outfits. That appeals to some people. It also takes the guesswork out of getting dressed every day and it can make getting dressed in the morning just easier and not take up so much space. So the common number of items in a minimalist capsule wardrobe usually hovers around 33 items. Um, today I'm just doing a mini capsule of only six items and it's only supposed to really get me through the week. Creating a mini capsule is also great if you are just starting out your handmade or me-made wardrobe. If you plan your makes around a similar color palette or um, just thinking broader than just that one make and thinking what else will this go with in my wardrobe? What will I make next? Will it go with other things that I've already made? It's a great way to kind of build up your me made wardrobe if that's your goal. The mini capsule I've put together would also be great as a vacation wardrobe. It's only six items, so it would all fit in a carry-on suitcase. I know most of us aren't really traveling a lot these days, but if you are, creating a mini capsule is a great way to have lots of outfit choices with only a small amount of garments. And the reason I'm doing this mini capsule this week is just to kind of rediscover items in my wardrobe, maybe things that I haven't been reaching for. When you remove most of your options, it really does force you to get creative and maybe try a new outfit combination that you haven't thought of before. So one thing to think of when you are curating your mini capsule is a color theme. You want all of these pieces to mix and match together. So creating a cohesive co color theme is going to help to make that happen. The color theme that I've chosen for this mini capsule is pinks and greens and a little bit of neutrals. Neutrals obviously go with everything and pink and green work well together because they are opposite the color wheel from each other. Now you may think, wait Erin, there's no pink on the color wheel. Not really. Well that's because the color pink is essentially red mixed with white. So when you see pink and you break it down to its most basic form, it's actually a version of red. Complementary colors um, do just that. They complement each other. They enhance the qualities of each color and make each color pop. It's a very bold way to combine colors and the contrast is, a, is very striking. So as I said, the items that I chose for my mini capsule, there are six garments. I have one one piece, three tops, 
and two bottoms. Those six items combined in different ways make eight different outfits, which is plenty for a seven day week. The first item that I've chosen for this summer mini capsule wardrobe is a dress. You may recognize it because it is a rather new make. The pattern I used is shirt number one by 100 acts of sewing, and I lengthened that pattern to my desired dress length. This fun pink and green patchwork dress was actually a refashion from a shorter version of the shirt number one that I took apart and turned into two dresses. And both of those dresses are reversible, which means that they can be worn two different ways. I'm never getting bored with this dress or the other one that I made. When I choose it for the day, I always have the choice to wear it front or back. And I love the versatility. The color combination also pleases me. What do you think? Next up is my olive t-shirt made from the Seamwork Jane pattern. I love the color of this t-shirt. I think it complements me well. I also love this pattern. It's a TNT pattern for me, tried and true. And um, it's just such a nice basic to have in my wardrobe. My goal is to have this t-shirt in all the colors of the rainbow. Next is a pink tank top. It's made of a pink woven ecot fabric and it's the Seamwork Greta pattern. I finally got this tank top to fit me basically the way I want it to and so I'm really excited to be styling it up this week. Next is one of my favorite tops for summer because it's made in a cotton eyelet fabric and it basically feels like wearing nothing so good for the extremely hot days. This white blouse is the Seamwork Loretta pattern. This top is loose fitting with flutter sleeves and an elasticated neckline. The shape of the top is just very flowy and it barely touches my body when I wear it. And um, since it's white, it will go with everything. On to the bottoms. First, I have my olive green shorts, which were made from the Seamwork Weston pattern. Although I don't have the fit perfect on these shorts, I'm going to keep trying with these because I love the high waist. I love the patch pocket possibilities of adding on to this pattern. And it's just kind of, for me, the perfect shorts. These are made from a non-stretch twill, and while they're not perfect, um, they're good enough for me. And last is another fairly new make, um, which is this tan wrap skirt. It is made from the Seamwork Laura pattern. I didn't realize I picked mostly Seamwork patterns for this capsule, but there you go. I, I've been subscribing for years, and that's what's in my collection. This skirt is becoming a fast favorite of mine. It's really easy to wear. It's neutral, so it goes with everything. And I love the slim fit of it and the interest that the wrap gives it. So those are the six items I chose for my mini capsule for summer. I know they're basic, but you know what? They're perfect for my lifestyle. I made all of these pieces and it makes me happy to wear them together. So are you ready to see me style up this capsule wardrobe? Just as a reminder, this is a hot weather capsule. I didn't add a lot of accessories to my outfits because it, it the weather just wouldn't allow for it. So mainly earrings and shoes are the accessories that I use in a purse if I left the house. Yes, it's basic, but not boring, I don't think. Not for me anyway, and that's all that really matters. Overall, I loved the color combination that I chose, and I loved that all of these pieces worked well together. It really reminds me that I've been working hard to achieve a me made wardrobe and um, I'm getting there. Overall, I had a fun time with this challenge. It was just the invigoration that I needed to get dressed, gave me something happy to think about. And if you haven't tried it yet, I'd highly recommend giving yourself a challenge like this. So before I show you the outfits, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, comment below, share with a friend and subscribe if you haven't already. Enjoy my outfits.
so much for watching. Remember, you have to wear something. It might as well be fun and feel great. Bye.